Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, years ago, if you would have told me that in 2023 going into 2024, you would be able to pay your groceries by waving your palm over a palm scanner, open your car by having a chip put in your hand and just waving your hand over the door handle so your door would either lock or unlock and have chips put in your brain that act as a Fitbit in your skull. I would have said, no way. But the reality is, if we read our Bibles, this should not surprise us because this is exactly what it is supposed to look like during the last of the last days. More specifically, the seven year tribulation period. Let's dive right into it, folks. I covered this story a few months ago, but this is about to go to a whole new level. This is recently in from Business Insider. Look at the title of this article, folks. Thousands of people are reportedly lining up to have a portion of their skull removed and one of Elon Musk's brain chips implanted. Let me share some of the main points of this article with you guys. Thousands of people are interested in becoming Neuralink patients, Elon Musk's company. A Bloomberg report says Elon Musk's startup received FDA approval earlier this year in 2023 to start human trials. The brain chip setup hopes to implant a device that acts as a Fitbit in your skull. Now, why is this significant? Well, for starters, the technology was not there in previous generations, but it's here now. The reason this is huge, because we know, according to scripture, more specifically, Revelation chapter 13, during the coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet, the rapture of the church will occur, then the Antichrist will be revealed, and when the Antichrist confirms the covenant with many, Daniel chapter 9, verse 27, that will start the seven-year tribulation period. So we are not in the tribulation yet. However, during the coming tribulation period, there will be a system in place that will be able to track and monitor every single human on the planet. They will be able to control all buying and selling. Eventually, you won't be able to buy or sell or go about your everyday life without having the mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead. So a time is coming. They're going to try to put something in your right hand or in your forehead. And you're not, again, you're not going to be able to buy or sell or go about your everyday life without this. So what exactly will the mark of the beast be? I don't claim to be dogmatic about that 100%. My personal opinion, I could be wrong. I believe it will be a quantum dot tattoo. However, what we see happening right now where people, you can use the Amazon one to wave your palm over the palm scanner to pay your groceries and, you know, uh, get a chip in your hand to open your Tesla uh, or what they're doing now. Again, like I said, thousands are volunteering to have a, a chip put in their skull to act as a basically a Fitbit in your skull. Uh, this stuff right now, it's not mandatory. So there's volunteers, people, it's, it's conditioning people. That's what we're seeing right now. People are lining up for this stuff and they think it's very cool, but this isn't the mark of the beast yet. What's coming during the coming tribulation period, it's going to be required. In fact, the Bible makes it very clear. If you don't take the mark of the beast, you won't be able to buy or sell, but it also says in the scriptures, you will be persecuted and killed for refusing to, make the mark of, uh, to take the mark of the beast, whatever they're going to try to put in your right hand or in your forehead. The Bible warns against taking the mark of the beast. So if you find yourself here during the coming tribulation period, you're going to have a choice whether to accept or reject the mark of the beast. You're going to have to reject the mark of the beast and accept Jesus Christ. And again, for doing this, you will be persecuted and killed for your faith. But the Bible makes it very clear. If you take the mark of the beast, you will be doomed to hell for eternity because you will be pledging allegiance to Satan. You will be pledging allegiance to this beast system. The whole point I'm trying to make, folks, 
is paying your bills with your hand, opening and locking your doors with your hand, and having chips put in our brains to act as a Fitbit in our skull is all part of conditioning the masses for what's coming down the road during the coming tribulation period when the mark of the beast does come on to the world scene. Don't be deceived. We're told everything in the Bible. What we see right now, especially with the story I just shared with you, again, this is all part of conditioning the masses to eventually accept the mark of the beast. All I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around this world at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back and he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is a day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it full with his blood on the cross at Calvary, so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you can never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places. You will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. Horrific. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures and do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.